Hey, Generations Church family, this is Pastor Brent here, and um, I get to just take the next two minutes this afternoon to pray with you and uh, just lead you in a, a short time of worship. And um, as we, we've taken these first 21 days of this year and just had in an, a really big uh, spiritual emphasis, it's called empowerment. And uh, just this week, we've been um, having an emphasis on prayer and fasting. And so I just want to say thank you for taking the time and praying and fasting with us over this week. And um, just today, I am going to take some time and I'm going to pray over our families. And um, I want to encourage you to pray with me. Uh, but just before we go into prayer, we just want to start with this, um, in this time, just with a, a time of worship. So let's, let's just worship together. All right. Just as we come into this place today, I, I told you earlier I'm going to be praying for a family 
be praying for the family unit. And I just want to encourage you just to take some time um, this afternoon, this morning, this night, whatever, uh, whenever you're watching this. And let's just pray um, over our family members. Pray for each and every one of them, your spouse, your kids. Uh, so just, just pray with me today. Lord, we just thank you so much for who you are. We thank you, Lord God, that you have given us family. I thank you, Lord God. I don't think that you meant us to do life alone. And so, God, I thank you that you've blessed us with family, Lord God, and our loved ones and the spouse and kids. And uh, for those who are single, Lord, you've blessed us with family, Lord, maybe that we've grown up with, or maybe even some of us have come and some friends, God, have become family or, or church members have become family, God, to us. I just I just want to pray, Lord God, over family, God, this this day, Lord God, I pray over the family unit right now, Lord God, and I just speak, Lord, and pray that your spirit, Lord God, would just begin to flood, Lord God, homes. Your spirit, Lord God, would begin to flood families, Lord God, to just bring in a, a spirit of peace, Lord God, and of unity, Lord God, to begin to affect marriages, Lord God, and homes today, Lord, to begin to affect families, Lord God, where there's been strife and confusion, Lord God. Let your peace, Lord God, just begin to come in on the scene, Lord God, and just cause, Lord, unity, Lord God, and your power and your spirit and your peace, Lord God, to just flow, Lord, and Lord, in relationships, Lord, in homes today, Father. I pray, Lord God, over wives today, Lord God. I pray that you would just continue, Father, to draw wives and moms, Lord God, after you, Lord God, that they, Lord God, in Jesus' name, God, would, would stand up, Lord God, in your presence and declare, Lord, that you are God that, uh, over their houses and over, the, God, their homes and over their lives and their families, Lord God, that they would walk, Lord God, as you have uh, commanded them to walk. Lord God, that they will walk, Lord, under your anointing, God, that they will walk, God, under your spirit, under your power, Lord God, under the authority, God, that you've granted them from heaven, oh God. I pray, Lord God, over husbands and fathers, Lord, right now, and I pray, Lord God, that you will cause God a strength, Lord, a godly strength, Lord God, to rise up in husbands, Lord God, to be able to stand, Lord God, in your presence as well, and declare, Lord God, God, over their family, Lord, that you are Lord, and that you are God. I pray, Lord, that you would draw husbands, Lord, to put you first, Lord God, in everything, Father. Help, Lord, husbands and wives, Lord God, fathers and, and mothers, Lord God, to, to begin, Lord God, to just operate, God, in the, your anointing, in your peace, Lord God, in your presence, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Help them, God, in the way that they parent their children, Lord God. Help us, God, the way that we parent our children, God, to parent, Lord God, in peace, God, to parent, Lord, in righteousness, God, to parent, Lord God, with grace, Lord God. Let your mercy, Lord God, continue, God, to flow in our lives, Lord God. Let children, Father, Lord God, just begin, Lord God, to begin, Lord God, to know, Lord God, you on a real, Lord God, in personal level, Father. Let kids, Lord God, young ages, Lord God, teenagers, Lord God, begin, Lord, to enter into a right relationship with you. I pray that the Holy Spirit would draw our children, Lord God, the children of just this generation, Lord God, after you, Lord God, draw them into righteousness, God, into righteous living, God, draw them into purity, Lord God, draw them out, Lord, of the darkness, Lord God, and out of this world and out of the crowds, Lord God, and to, Lord God, what you would have, God, for them. I pray, Lord God, for prodigal sons, God, and prodigal daughters, God, who maybe who walked away from the faith. I pray, Lord God, that you would draw them back unto you, God, that your spirit, Lord God, would remind them of their first love, Father. Maybe, God, they've experienced, God, church hurt or, or hurt, God, from an individual. I pray, Lord God, in Jesus' name, that you will remind them of your love for them, Lord God. God, even in spite of that individual, in spite of a church, God, in spite, Lord God, of a person, Lord, your love for them is never never changed, oh God. And I thank you, God, for that, Lord, today. That your love, God, for us, it never changes, God. I pray, Lord God, for families, Lord God. I pray, God, wherever, Lord God, people are in their walk and relationship, I'm praying, Lord, right now, God, that you would draw them, Father, to take another step, Lord God, towards you. To take another step, Lord God, in saying, Lord, I want to go deeper. Lord God, I want my relationship, Lord God, to, to grow deeper, Lord, in you, Father. Let them take another step in righteousness, another step, Lord, in holy living, another step, Lord God, in worship, Lord God. Let it, let it not just be a song, God, but let it be a lifestyle, God, that they live. We pray, Lord God, that you would draw families, God, unto you. And God, that your presence, Lord God, would begin, Lord God, to flow in our families. God, and be at the forefront of our families, oh God. That unity, Lord God, would enter back into homes, God. And that your presence, Lord God, would draw us after you, Father. That kids, God, would raise up, Lord God, as they are raised up, Lord God. Let them be raised up in right relationship with you, God. Not just, God, 
uh, holding on to the, the coattails of mommy and daddy, Lord God, or the coattails of grandma and grandpa. Lord God, those days are long gone, Father, but I pray that you'd raise our children up, Lord God, into right relationship with you. And let us, God, as parents, God, be ministers in our own home, Lord God. Let us as parents, Lord God, lead our children, Lord God, in the word. Lead our children, Lord, in worship. Lead our children, Lord God, in righteous living, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, as parents, not to live a double life, Lord God, in the church and outside of the church, Lord. But help us, God, to surrender to you in every facet of our lives, every facet of our walk, Lord. We love you and we thank you so much, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, that you didn't mean us to do life alone. And I pray, God, that you'd help us. I pray to find God godly relationships, Lord God, that are going to continue to sharpen us and draw us after you, Lord. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on right wherever you are today. I pray the Lord blesses you. I pray as you leave this time of prayer, I pray that you would leave encouraged. That when you go home, that you would leave and go home encouraged in knowing that God has a plan and a purpose for your life today. He has a plan and a purpose for your family, for your son, for your daughter, for your wife, for your husband today. And I want to encourage you to go and live out this purpose. Amen. You guys be blessed today.